I would only see kind of like, you know, the top of the head because right. the camera is positioned for mom or for dad, not for junior. That's why E3 Toronto has developed online classes specifically to teach youth how to successfully interact in virtual sessions. Shy child is usually the one that won't turn their camera on. And it's that anxiety that some youth are hoping to overcome. Even though you're behind a camera, you're behind a screen, they can still see you and you don't want to be awkward. You want to be confident and you want to look good. The program covers the importance of audio setup, lighting and camera positions. That it makes me actually more confident since my teachers and peers can actually see my face. Put maybe a ring light behind my camera so that the light shines onto my face and not from behind. But also focuses on body language that helps improve youth confidence in virtual sessions. From time to time, you know, put in some gestures, move your head a little bit, like let people know you're a live human being, not just like a, a talking head. Tendency is I want to look right now at your screen, Audra. Right. I have a little post-it note with a smiley face that I put next to my camera to remind me, ah, that's where I have to look. That's where I have to smile. Participants say focusing on these tips has alleviated stress and improved virtual public speaking confidence makes me feel more confident that I'm getting the message across to them and that they don't just see my forehead or something. Do you find when you have the lighting set up and your camera set up properly, you have confidence in yourself going forward? Yes, because it makes me feel like I am actually engaging with them. They'll also be hosting online summer camps to develop these skills. Go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. In Toronto, Audra Brown, City News.